So this child came to us in OPD, stating that she has a breathlessness and uh, she collapsed in uh, the school. So subsequently we investigated her. Then we saw that she has got a peculiar problem in her heart, which is called severe pulmonary arterial hypertension. It's something like the routine blood pressure, which is by heart, and the lung also has a blood pressure, which is very high. So usually in this age group, we try to check for the reasons, if there is any particular reason which, which we can treat with medicines and all. But we found out that this uh, girl has a particular problem which cannot be treated with medicines. The only option left was to change the heart and the lungs, both together. So then we gave the option to the kid as well as the parents. They have aptly agreed and we, we thank a lot for uh, Jivandan as well as beloved Chief Minister KCR Garu supporting the kid with the monetary expense of 25 lakhs and then we went ahead with the uh, investigation and we have completed the surgery, brought the lungs from Global Hospital and successfully completed the surgery in Yashoda. Uh, within 24 to 48 hours, the kid recovered very fast and we have removed her from ventilator and subsequently we had some small minor problems with lung pneumonia and all, but we, we fought against those infections because with the support of and morally she was very, very strong. She was fighting. So with antibiotics and prompt investigations, we could uh, see that the kid recovered from infections and all. And subsequently, we maintained the kid in a single room. And with the help of our nursing staff, I should say, we have to appreciate them. We could see the kid alive and active and dancing. At a time, uh, the only option for this girl was to replace both lung as well as the heart. So we were searching because usually it is very rare to get brain dead patients at this age group. Because exact size, age, as well as the blood group should be matching. So we can say it is the luck of the kid that she got a similar uh, cadaver, we say, a body. And uh, the size matched, even the blood group matched. So we brought the both heart as well as the lung. And I should say, of all the things, we should thank the donors. They have so many negative feelings, I told you. They have like, what, what will happen to my particular kid when they go? he goes to heaven? He'll not have heart and lung. No, nothing like that. So they took a brave step in donating the organs. So I think uh, people should have this awareness that organ donation can give lives to not one person, probably six, seven people. Just your organs can give life to six, seven people. So I think we should encourage the organ donation. Not much. It is not, it's just like any other heart surgery or a lung surgery. What, what is the particular important thing is she should be away from group gatherings and all because she's prone to infections. Uh, basically, the medicines what we give her is, uh, it's a foreign body, the lungs are new, the heart is new, it's not of her own. So, in order to accept those lungs, we give some medicines. So, those medicines will reduce her immunity, okay? So, due to which she can fall uh, or get infections frequently. But surprise is that uh, immediate post-op, we could see some infections and till now, no infections at all. So, she is maintaining herself very well. So what we suggest even to the patients of all transplants is to be away from uh, temples, gatherings and all. So where they can fall prey to infection. I am feeling great. I'm, I'm really happy that I'm in Yashoda. Huh? I'm enjoying the team of Yashoda. As well as you can see the, the, the change in the look or the purview of the government looking into the patients, what you call, plight and supporting the patients. That's really superb. I would like to appreciate uh, our beloved Chief Minister KCR Garu. Right. Thank you.